There are two ways how to create a spatial table, in the version 8.x, of MySQL. One it's by using the create a new table in the schema interface, from the workbench, and the other way, it's by creating a SQL script. The first way it's more friendly, and I teach how to do it in another video. The second way it's more for experts, and it's what I am going to explain in this video. Just to remind, the spatial tables are based on the shapefiles characteristics, where each shapefile only allows the storage of one of the three types of geometries, polygons, lines, or points. Because the procedures are similar, and the difference are only in the moment when I choose the geometry type of the table, in this video I will only demonstrate how to create a spatial table to store polygons. Let's see, step by step, how to accomplish the task. To do this demonstration, I open the MySQL workbench and I enter in the local instance. Then I click the create a new SQL tab button. In the window that opens, I may now write a SQL script with the purpose to create a spatial table. To start, don't forget that, writing a SQL script could be different from user to user, so, this is my way how to write SQL, ok. So let's start the task. First, I write create table to initiate the SQL statement. Second, I define a name for the table. For this exercise, I will name it as demo underscore spatial. Third, I'm going to define the columns that I want for this table. I will only create three but at any moment I can change this by add or delete columns. So, I open parenthesis and I define the name for the first column. It is one that all shape files have by default, with the name id, mdf underscore id, or ogr underscore fid. I will name it as ogr underscore fid. Then, I will assign the data type as integer. This column will work as a unique identifier for each geometry that will be stored in the table and this is particularly important. So, because of this I'm going to activate the following characteristics for this column, primary key, not null, unique and auto increment. The second column is that one to identify the what is the object, and for this exercise, I'm going to attribute it the name municipality and with data type as varchar with 40, for the maximum length for these field.
and the last one, it's the column where the geometries will be stored. So, I must give it a name that I can easily identify its content, for example, the name geometry or geometry or shape. I will name it as shape. In this exercise, the geometries of the shape file that I want to store in the database are polygons, then for the data type I write polygon. I must activate not null function because this type of columns can't be null. After, I attribute the spatial reference system identifier for this column, for that I write SRID 3857, as a note, this is the reference for the WGS84 slash pseudomercator. If you want and if it is supported by the MySQL, you can use the SRID of your country. And to finalize, I add a spatial index for this column. Then I close the parenthesis and add a semicolon to end the statement. After, I run the script and refresh the database. As you can see, here it is the spatial table that I have created. So, if I am using a proprietary software like the Manifold Release 9, the table that I have created will work as a charm. But, if I am using an open source software like the QGIS Pi, I have to take one more step to make the spatial table work perfectly. Open source GIS software like the QGIS works with a standard table with the name geometry underscore columns. This table has the function of informing the QGIS about which is the coordinate reference system that the column that stores the geometries is using. As a note, for more information about this matter, See my video with the title what is the geometry underscore columns. So, inside my schema I open the geometry underscore columns, to see its content, and as you can see, there is no reference to the table I just created. Then, to prepare the spatial table for the QGIS, I must populate the geometry underscore columns, with the information that says who is who. For that, I must create a row that informs to the QGIS, the name of the spatial table, the name of the column with the spatial data, which is the coordinate reference system, and so on. So, the script to populate the geometry underscore columns table, will looks like with this that I'm here writing, as a note, you can find this script in the description of this video.
As an important note for the SRID column, I must use the same reference that I used in the script to create the spatial table. I have used the EPSG 3857, regarding to the WGS 84 slash pseudo mercator, so, is this one that I must use now? To finish the operation, just run the script and refresh the table, and here's the new row that I just recorded. Inside the QGIS, I click the Add Vector Layer button. On the window that opens, I click the option database, I select the MySQL connection and after, I click the add button. On the list that appears in select vectors layers to add window, I select the demo underscore spatial, and I click OK to open it. As you can see, the table can be worked inside the QGIS. Now, this table has interoperability, and I may use it with different software. Finally, you can perform a similar exercise for the other two types of geometries, one for the lines and other to the points.